Hello everyone, I am Tacit and today I'm going to be going over some more of the changes that occurred in the Gems of War 3.0 patch. This was a pretty big update and I just want to cover a few more of the changes that have occurred. As we can see here, we do have a nice new loading screen with one of the upcoming Adana troops that are going to be coming out in the near future. And then it goes straight into the new startup screen. One of the first things you may notice here is we finally have multiplayer both local and through the internet so we will be able to battle our friends and we'll finally be able to have those really nice competitive battles uh, and now if we go over to the single player option here and we will be able to see a large array of new opponents to be able to battle not only that but we still have some of the old ones such as our nice rock worm here who has now been renamed to a sand worm and we'll be able to battle all of those. And as some of you may be wondering, what exactly ended up having happening to Bone Dragon? Well, if we go into the battle now, in order to nerf him, they nerfed the Bone Dragon so hard that they ended up removing all brown and purple gems from the game to make sure that Bone Dragon cannot get any mana at all. I think this is a perfectly well-balanced nerf and I am glad they ended up doing so. So let's go now into some of the other features that we have. If we go over to the questing function over here, we will be able to go see quite a few of the other things. We'll start off with our kingdom. Home kingdom actually matters now and we'll have a nice array of features that we can do through them. For example, here we will be able to forge items Items such as cards and weaponry. Here we will be able to research spells which our hero will be able to use. Here we can train and ride mounts that we can ride around Kristara. And we actually have a skill based system that is not completely useless in which you don't actually balance everything out evenly and you try to make an actual build. So great addition there. If we go over to the shop here, we can see there is a wide array of items that we can buy as well as weapons that are not completely useless. So that is a nice additional feature as well. If we go over to the quest, we will be able to get quite a few different quests. If we go into this one right here, we can see that we actually have dialogue that is not just two words long. So that is a nice feature too. And as always, we can just skip it out completely if we just want to completely ignore all of the lore. And that is about all of the major changes that has come to Gems of War 3.0 patch. I hope you all have a wonderful April Fools.